morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rexpines TV. I'm Captain Collins. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Hey guys, it's yours truly, Double H, Jay's Amaze, and Big Back She. And we are happy to say we're hosting auditions for our next upcoming short film. There are only two requirements. You have to be a 7th or 8th grade male. That's it. Easy peasy. And just come to room 200, a.k.a. the Patriot Store, and be there by 3.30 tomorrow. That's it for today, Patriots. Deuces! Thank you. We may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 28, 2024. Now let's go to some more for today in history. Thank you, Captain. Good day, Patriots. Today in history, on May 28, 1937, the Golden Gate Bridge officially opened. The Golden Gate Bridge stretches all the way from San Francisco to Marin County. The bridge took four years and four and a half months to be built. Joseph B. Strauss was the one to lead the way as chief engineer of the bridge. On the first day, more than 30,000 cars passed over the bridge to get to the neighboring counties. Did you know that the bridge is officially turning 87 years old today? Imagine seeing this being built. It must have been amazing. Now let's check in with Daniela for today's lunch. Thank you, Samara. Today's lunch is popcorn chicken, Italian sandwich, seasoned Italian sandwich, red bell pepper, garden side salad, ranch dressing, sliced pears, and your choice of milk. Tomorrow's breakfast is whole green donut ring, lucky charms, string cheese, fresh banana, and 100% grape juice. Students, please note that the lunch menu can change at any time, and don't forget to inform your teachers if you're receiving lunch today. Bon appetit, now let's go back to Catherine. Thank you, Daniela. That sounds delicious. Tomorrow, 5th through 6th graders will have the chance to go to the Patriot Store. The store is open from 7.15 to 7.55 a.m. Make sure to arrive on time. Patriots, please remember to keep your phone shut down and your backpacks at all times. And there is no chewing gum at school. Please wait out for entering the building. And you can only wear a school jacket or a sweater. Today is day one of kindergarten graduation. Miss Carmona, Miss Lane, and Miss Cherizel classes, congratulations. Tomorrow is kindergarten graduation day two for Miss Rivera, Miss Greg, and Miss Santori's classes. Those little guys are so cute. Our yearbooks are on sale now. Then go to myschoolbooks.com. It's $45 per person. There are no other grades testing until Wednesday. Yippee! Now let's check today's weather with Elia. Thank you, Catherine. What's poppin', Patriots? Today's weather is 95 degrees Fahrenheit with scattered thunderstorms. Sounds like a good day to watch a movie. In other weather news, have you wondered what funny things happen during a flood? Well, now you'll find out. In Omaha, Nebraska, somebody was taking a video of a flooded car when a spinning trash can caught his eye. We don't know why this happened exactly, but we do know that it looked like a mini whirlpool. Some other stuff that happens is people take advantage of the flood to have fun, like riding around in floaties or kayaks. If I was in a flood, I would be having a pool day with my unicorn floaty. Now let's wish our patrons happy birthday with Giselle. Thank you, Alaya. Today's birthday boys and girls are Ditya Uni Krishnan and Aaron Moya. Our belated birthdays are Oliver Talibert, Emily Nora, and Matthew Perez. Our Pines teachers, Ms. Hart and Coach Lee. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Catherine. Thank you, Giselle. Patriots, here are past expectations. It represents, presenting yourself positively, act kind towards others, choose close respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Arnold, Ms. Blanc, Ms. Merkel, Ms. Eugene, Ms. Nelson, and Ms. Jordan for getting the correct answer to the Friday's Day Challenge, which was, where do arboreal animals live? The correct answer was, tropical forests and trees. Today's Day Challenge is, Daily Challenge. What continent is the most popular in the world? Teachers, please see your answers to finds at Renaissance at Juba.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. More is being announced on the next morning announcement. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a tremendous Tuesday. Have a great day!